Spectrum TV, broadening your horizon. Um, looking at what is happening in Nigeria today, the FG, the federal government has a plan to remove uh, petroleum or full subsidy uh, come 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, please, uh, what are the implications of this uh, full subsidy removal come 2022? Yeah, let me appreciate God, first of all, for Spectrum TV and the good work they are doing in the recent uh, past. Okay. Uh, most importantly, bringing a station like this to these shores of Nigeria. And then, uh, and then for us to have the opportunity of discussing ourselves, uh, the issues that bother us mm -hmm. on our lives, yeah. not necessarily traveling all the way. Uh, number two, the bordering on the question that you've just put forward, Nigeria mm -hmm. is in problem. Nigeria is in a very serious dilemma that everybody everybody's hands must be on deck uh the nigeria labor congress like every other nigerians woke up a couple of uh, days back to hear the planned uh position of the federal government to release uh, to remove the full subsidy come february 2022 it took all of us are back everything that we are talking about today uh, there is always a past there is always a story behind every glory yeah. uh, the full subsidy removal dates back to the beginning of the civilian rule in Nigeria in 1999, where the Obasanjo led administration discovered that the the fuel were enjoying, the, the there are other people that are making gains from it, not necessarily the common Nigerians, which okay. was meant to enjoy. And okay. he began the process until a point that the the president, good luck Jonathan, took the bull by the horns. Okay. To remove the subsidy. Everybody were in this country when we had all the things that uh, from labor, civil society group, everybody, including myself, yeah. said, no, 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 it shouldn't be removed. We need to enjoy at least fuel that we have the crude in abundance. Yeah. And therefore, if we are suffering in any other direction, we shouldn't suffer in this other direction. And uh, the, the, the thing was resisted with all the palliative that good luck put in, with all the bosses he bought at that time, yeah. and all that they think he could do okay. to salvage the situation. Nigerians rejected it. And then the price was brought down yeah. to a, a level that an average Nigerian can, can at least go out. Because what is important is for us to be able to leave our houses. Exactly. And then uh, 2020, we were all in this country when the current leadership of President Muhammad Buhari went that same line again with, with the intention of removing the first subsidy. Nigeria Labor Congress, which I am a part, yeah. uh, does not at any point in time okay. said that the federal government of Nigeria should not remove first subsidy. Because if they are saying that uh, it is a process of siphoning money meant for the common man, mm -hmm. we will always resist any attempt for a common man what is supposed to come to the government, not okay. to come to it. Okay. But there are conditionalities that preclude that kind of decision. You can't wake up and take this decision. I recall also that the Nigerian Labour Congress plan to go on a strike if that does not is not done by reducing the... So the, the federal government are planning to replace the four subsidy removal with a 5,000 naira. Yeah, we're going there. We're going we there. 5,000 naira uh, to each citizen. The, that is the poorest citizen to 40 million Nigerians. Over 200 million Nigerians we have as the total population, and they are planning to give 5,000 naira. Yeah, I was actually going there. I needed to give the background. Yeah. Maybe for those who have not heard the situation. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, the background is that the president, this current president, decided, or this current administration, yeah. Yeah. When, when I reuse the word president, it's because the president of Nigeria is the minister of petroleum in Nigeria. Yeah. Whatever we have, like silver, is the minister for states. And therefore, I have every right to say the president okay. in, this, okay. in this conversation. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, with that position now, a committee was formed. The Nigerian Labour Congress are members of the committee uh, where, where these issues were discussed. And the, the meeting at some point was adjourned uh, sin or die. Okay. Nobody is understanding whatever they want to do. Only for government unilaterally to come up and say, I want to remove the subsidy. Okay. The committee that you form, positions were presented. We had also to, uh, gave our own position of what and what you need to do okay, now before, let's, let's, let's before you remove the subsidy. And that positions? was not done. What were these positions? What? Number one position in that meeting is that we have four refineries they are, are working at near zero positions okay. four refineries four refineries in nigeria okay. none of them can be said to be working at 10 percent installed capacity uh -huh. and therefore we said 
what are you going to do to eject funds to make it come up? Okay. Okay. The model of the 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 first subsidy removal, the the model of whatever we call it yeah. okay. that we are operating in Nigeria is hundred percent faulty. What what do I mean by that? The NRC said you cannot remove first subsidy when you are using import driven model. Okay. Let us generate our own fuel inside this country. Okay. Nigeria, for the purposes of the records, is the only opaque country okay. in the world that has the abundance of the Pretty petroleum good. resources that we have okay. and don't have a functional refinery. Okay. It's the only country. Okay, now and therefore wait. the NRC said you have to make our refineries to work. Yeah. At least one, two, or three okay. at twenty five percent to fifty percent in total capacity. So that whatever we produce, you can import a part of it okay. and add the price of pro local production can never be the, the price of print. Was this yeah. agreement made by the federal government? Yes, it was a committee decision. Yeah. It was a committee decision. Yeah. And I have mentioned that the committee the, uh, actions were suspended sin a die. Yeah. What that means is that whoever is supposed to reconvene that meeting yeah. ran away. Ran away. And, yeah. uh, and then, okay. as you run away from uh, uh, continuously having this meeting okay. to engage labor okay. Okay. and other stakeholders on how we can make our refineries to work. Don't forget, all of you, all of you are journalists, yeah. that this country ejected some good money yeah. in bill, hundreds of billions exactly. into a protocol refinery. Yeah. The first question we are asking is what is the outcome of that investment? Mm -hmm. What level of production have you attained after that money was ejected into that place? Nothing. No, 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 no reason has been given so far. Okay. Okay. We are now also asking a very critical question. Minister of Petroleum, the, the Minister of Petroleum for States, the management of the NMPC, all of you, how many million liters of petrol product, refined product product, are Nigerians using? Okay. Okay, now let me quickly... That was the second you. question yes, that we also question. asked. Okay. okay. Now, just before you continue. Sincere apologies for that and glad to have you back. Good to know you're still there. Just before we went in that time, uh, I was asking Comrade uh, James uh, that back then in 2015, yeah, 2012 precisely, when Good Luck Jonathan was just about to get out the subsidy in completion, uh, we saw a lot of riot from different bodies, inclusive, uh, uh, with Nigerian Labour Congress inclusive. So now let's know, there's another proposed uh, removal of your subsidy for 2022. And Labour and every other body seems to be quiet. What's different about this one? Yeah, nobody is actually being quiet. Yeah. Uh, uh, there have been mobilizations everywhere okay. in this country as far as we are concerned. The Nigeria Labour Congress will be having its own general meeting in the next one week to okay. mobilize the entire country Whoa. to resist this particular increment. Okay. But eventually they removed it. And very many quarters are not keeping quiet. We are mobilizing as much as it is within our will. Okay. The reason is very simple. What happened in 2012 up till today, there is no change in it. There is no change in yeah. it. Because in 2012, in 2012, Nigerians asked the same question that we were asking in 2021. Okay. Fix our refineries. Okay. Tell us how many lit million liters we use per day. Okay. So that we now know if you are paying subsidy, to what extent are you paying the subsidy? What is the amount of subsidy? Why should it be the high level secrecy mm -hmm. that you are saying that you are paying secret, uh, subsidy to this amount of money. They, they will mention figure that you you will tremble over the figure. 200 billion naira in a month. Okay. A, a quick run down to, to, the, the, to the figures now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, record shows it here that um, the federal government plans to pay the sum of 5,000 naira to 14 million Nigerians, yeah. uh, which will amount to 200 billion naira in a month. Mm -hmm. Now, the 200 billion naira in a month times 12 will give us 2.4 trillion in a year. Now, looking at that now, currently now, the Nigerian government is spending uh, uh, approximately 150 billion naira in a, mo in a month yeah. for subsidy okay. now. Now, 150 billion times 12 months will give us 1.8 trillion. That is to say that subsidy is 150 billion and FG are paying currently 200 billion. Uh, they want to pay 200 billion in a month. The difference there is 50 billion. Now, which one pays more? Is yeah, it they, to they, remove the subsidy yeah, uh, or to uh, retain it? The, 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 the first truth that on the matter is that the Nigeria Labour Congress and so many of the stake 
holders in Nigerian project does not believe in the 5,000 Naira project. Are you serious? Yeah, well, we don't believe in the 5,000. That is the very first thing. Because the uh, antecedents abounds everywhere. Where you give trader money, you give, uh, you give, you feed our children COVID while in COVID-19. Yeah. They are in their houses. Yeah. Yeah. They are not in school. You feed them. And you mentioned like 600 billion yeah. that you used to feed them in their father's houses. And then, and then the one that they said, uh, what do you call it? Empower. Empower mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of the, the schemes if how many people actually benefited from it? Can you make the, that statistics public? So, are you now? And so for this around 5,000 in the first place, it's not even realistic. Okay. Because it's actually going to be uh, appropriated okay. and it will end up in very few people's pockets. Okay. That is number one. Number two, the scheme cannot work because Nigeria feels that 5,000 that you are going to give to us okay. does not transport us day and back exactly. compared to the price of well, the, the commodities that they will be buying. Okay. We are buying fuel now 162, 165. 165. And you are taking it to minimum 320. 20, to 340. To 340. Okay. And the marketers are saying that that 340 is not realistic. realistic. So it means that in the Nigerian context, okay. we are talking, looking at maybe 360. Oh, so if we were at three, uh, 165 mm -hmm. times 2 is is uh, it is three uh, you see that whatever they're proposing now yes. is uh, like times three. three and then if you are going to give us nothing changes in the market so the okay. income has not changed okay. so the five thousand will not make any meaning in the hands of nigerians okay. and then number three okay who is the poorest of the poor i was going that to is ask the question that now. now let's see uh we sir just before you joined us on the conversation we, we were taking a look at uh, the poorest of the poor issue, judging back to what played out uh, during the COVID-19 lockdown. Uh, we saw issues where government said they were going to give uh, some individuals 5,000 there. Yeah. And what is the prerequisite? What was the yardstick for measuring the poorest of the poor in Nigeria? Has Labour reached out to them to, to get this uh, facts from them? Yeah, the, the very first thing I have said here is that there was a committee that handled this matter. Okay. Yeah. You are the federal government of Nigeria mm -hmm. Or with all their peripheral that handled the meetings, okay. suspended the meeting, sent a die. And then, if they had arranged the meeting, okay. invited the stakeholders, okay. we would have looked at all the things you are now proposing. Okay. Okay. And this question would have been asked. Okay. Okay. What parameter will you put in place to determine who is poor okay. in the first place? Okay. Okay. Minimum wage of 30,000 Naira in Nigeria. So many state governors have not paid up till now. Yeah. Some states are still struggling to have their minimum wage okay. of 30,000 to be paid. Okay. And then if those who have paid the 30,000 Naira are buying fuel, the statistics was made on this uh, 162, thereabout. Okay. And then you have increased it. Automatically, the minimum wage for everybody should also be increased. Increase. Yeah. Because 30,000 would be meaningless in the hands so, of a level one officer. Yeah. And therefore, if you have to, that would have been one of the parameters would have asked. Okay. What will you use to determine the poorest of the poor? Yeah. Okay. And then, if those parameters are not put in place, okay. I do not know. Even me, I'm a poor, I'm a poor person. I'm I'm not 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 this <laughs> you not look, 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 look at the fact that I cannot even fold my way. And even at most, the moment, most okay. of these poor persons doesn't have even a, a bank account for this transaction. The 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 last time <laughs> we did, let me use a quiet myself for instance. Okay. okay. When we talked about NIN, NIN, NIN in one way is it that related to BFN. Yes. Yeah. And then the statistics of January 2020, Nin had been in the system for some time. Okay. But Akwai Bom State had less than 800,000 Akwai Bom mm -hmm. registered in Nin. Mm. Out of 7 point something million, million okay. Akwai Bom State has less than a billion, a million yeah. registered in Nin. Nin. The same thing goes for BVN. I'm not sure in Akwai Bom State <laughs> that 2 million people have BVN. BVN. Whoa. So if you have those who are because if you don't have a BB, you have a bank account, yeah. you have a BBA. Mm -hmm. So it means that less than two million people has a bank account yeah. in Acquire mm -hmm. And you want to transact the money, money. to throw the throw the bank account, the five thousand. Mm -hmm. What happened to the five over five million people that doesn't have a bank account? Mm -hmm. That is even the poorest of the, the poor. poor. Do you now say you want to look at their bank account, what is inside there mm -hmm. to determine how much he has there? What happened to our people who doesn't even know how to go to bank? They don't even know the way to the bank. Mm -hmm. And then how will they be considered in the poorest of the A lot of people have this opinion that this 5,000 Naira uh, per month, uh, this proposed 5,000 Naira per month is a form of vote buying for the 2023 general election. What are your contributions towards this? Is this well, true? Well, well the, I would not even use the word vote buying. Mm. 
I will even use the word a means of setting aside money to buy the vote. Buy the okay. vote. Okay. Because okay. if you now say vote buy, because <laughs> the money will not even get to you yeah. until even the election time. <laughs> the money will even be set aside to buy the vote <laughs> at the appropriate time. time. So we now think these are all means of yeah. shortchanging like Nigeria, shortchanging you to, to now pay you. Mm. It's not correct, but it will bring more harm to you. Yeah. We are not considerate. Nigerians have been shouting okay. all the while. Mm. We are thinking of how to get out of the wood. Okay. If okay. we allow the policy they are going now, uh, let us even go back to the practical part of it. Okay. That will not even allow the 5,000 to work, even <laughs> if it works. The National Assembly are protesting mm. on this, the, the same 5,000. Even mm. if Labour were to say, bring the 5,000, let us share to the poorest of the poor. Mm -hmm. Retirement the poor with us. Okay. okay. The National Assembly are saying that such volume, such quantum of money, money. to be spent in 2022, mm. supposed to be in the 2022 appropriation okay. budget. Yeah. And it was not mentioned anywhere. And you want to spend such money without the National Assembly, we will not allow you to spend the money. Mm -hmm. That is the first question mark. Mm -hmm. It means that even those that are just showing us the carrot are going to show to us and deceive mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And then when they remove the thing, the five thousand dollars will not even be there. <laughs> because okay. the people who are supposed to appropriate the money are not ready to appropriate because they have not seen it any way to appropriate. Okay. Okay. So are you going to bring when the main budget has not been passed, are you mm -hmm. going to bring a supplementary budget for the amount? And don't forget they mentioned February. 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 Yeah. February. February 2022. Yes. It means that all these things we are talking about is not realistic. And for anybody to wake up from anywhere and now increase it, I cannot assure. Because if Nigerians, apart from labor, who is labor? Labor is a laborer. Yeah. Anybody who is a laborer, yeah. for whatever reason you go, you do a job and you okay. cannot even feed yourself, yeah. you are a laborer. And then you are now asked to pay double for whatever money is supposed to come to you, mm -hmm. it will make, be meaningless. Mm -hmm. okay. Nigeria, now, without inciting them, let, will let, automatically let, go for their rights. Let me yeah. proceed there now. Uh, taking you fully back, you said uh, Labour is preparing to go on a, a protest. Uh, I'll also like to cite uh, 2015. There were protests and all of that. But at the end, we found out that these conditions were not met. And at the same time, 30% of subsidy was removed, which actually increased the price of PMS. Now, what are those modalities that you have uh, Labour are putting in place per venture they go on a protest to hold the government accountable or maybe stop in totality the, the, the removal of this subsidy well i think the, the issue of well the issue of well if you ask me i will believe is an oversight of the level okay. okay and therefore it is a job for all nigerians okay. when we are to interrogate this issue the actions of our leaders okay. i expect all nigerians to be up and alive to their responsibility okay. why do we have the fathers of faith why do we have the muslim leaders mm -hmm. why do we have the Khan? why do we have the student union government why do we have the civil society groups okay. the essence of all these groups is to engage leaders for the welfare of okay. the citizens okay. and therefore it would, it's not issue of the labor okay. we will do as humans okay. we're all humans okay. and therefore we will also ask questions if you are going on strike we're talking about like 10 million people in the country of 200 million okay. and then 190 million folding hands okay. and asking to 10 million to go and clap on on the road okay. it is not also correct okay. the other 90 million uh, 190 okay. million yeah. must at the same time Tell the government and obviously no. Yeah. We are already tired in this country. Okay. Because of bad leadership. Okay. We are already tired. I am personally tired. Okay. Because the country is not going the way it's supposed to go. Okay. And people are not listening to anybody. Okay. Um don't forget the current administration said the fuel of 86 naira okay. will be sold for 50. 50. Okay. That's one of the first things that they have failed us. And therefore, we have used to their failures. All right, that's how much we can take on this particular issue now. We know we can't quite exhaust it. So we look forward to having you next time. I uh, hope you avail yourself the opportunity. Oh, was my pleasure. Okay, uh, we've been talking with Elder, Elder Comrade Sonny James. Of course, he is the chairperson, Nigerian Labour Congress, Aquabin State Chapter. Uh, join us again tomorrow for more impactful edition of Political Spectrum. Right now, this is where we call it quits. My name has been Otobasi Tom. And my name is Michael Akban. Bye for now. Spectrum TV. Broadening.